The second explanation for offending behaviour that we're going to look at is based on Ising's personality theory, which is one that you may already be familiar with. So Ising's personality theory is not a theory which um, was designed to particularly profile criminals. It is um, just a general personality theory that could encompass everybody. And Ising said that everybody fell somewhere on three dimensions. Uh, the first of those dimensions was introversion at one end and extroversion at the other. So an introvert is somebody who is quite inward looking. Um, they'd have a small group of friends. Um, they wouldn't like big, loud, noisy social occasions. And an extrovert is the opposite of that. So somebody who has lots of different friends um, and is very stimu stimulation seeking. The second dimension is stability at one end and neuroticism at the other. So this is talking about mood and mood fluctuations. So someone who is on the, the stable end would have quite a stable mood. They wouldn't be um, influenced wildly by things around them. Whereas somebody on the neurotic end would have um, bigger fluctuations in mood and tend to be maybe a bit more anxious. The third dimension, which Isenck added to his theory a little bit later, um, was self-control at one end and psychoticism at the other end. And psychoticism was generally characterised um, by being quite cold and aggressive and manipulative. Now, Isenck did state that personality was biological in origin, so you were born somewhere on each of these dimensions. Now the theory states that the criminal personality is one that falls at the extroversion neuroticism end of the scale and also that people who are criminals would tend to score more highly in psychoticism as well. So if we look at those um, personalities in a little bit more detail. So people who are extroverts, um, the biological origin of this um, is thought to be that they're um, brain is generally under-stimulated, so they seek stimulation in order to raise that level of stimulation, and as a result they're risk-takers, they don't learn from their mistakes. People who are neurotic tend to be nervous and overly anxious, and this makes their behaviour quite difficult to predict. They're more likely to act in an impulsive and unpredictable way. And as I mentioned previously, um, people who score highly in psychoticism tend to be aggressive, cold and unemotional. Now, Isenck did acknowledge that socialisation also plays a role. So people who are extrovert neurotics tend to be difficult to condition purely because they don't learn from their mistakes, because they're uh, difficult to predict and because they tend to be over anxious. So you can read about Isenck's personality theory in more detail in the pre-reading. Before you come into the lesson, make sure you can explain the three dimensions of Isenck's personality theory. State which of Isenck's personality traits are associated with the criminal personality and then why those personality traits may lead to offending behaviour. And just have an appreciation for the link between biology and socialisation in this theory.